Yo, what's up everybody? Gonna be at the yurt today. Gonna be an awesome video. So we're bringing it back to the yurt for a while. I'm like fall, crisp, clean air. Makes me think about the yurt. You know, the yurt's my most favorite shelter. And we're gonna talk all about that. But uh, we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna do here, start cleaning it up, getting ready for like cold weather, right? Maybe a couple snow flurries, staying in this thing. Pumped, I'm super pumped about it. So the yurt itself was made by a company named American Yurts. I know I'm gonna get asked that question, so we might as well knock it out of the way right now. Unfortunately, the man who owned the company passed away. They are no longer in business. Um, super affordable when I bought the thing. It's 13 feet, perfect for two people for camping. If you were gonna live in the thing, one person, because you store all your stuff on the other side, sleep on the other side. It actually is held up beautifully over the years. So five years going strong, it never sees the in indoors. Like we never take it down, it just stays up all the time. The only slight, I wanna say, damage that has ever been done to it has, the left side of it has cracked under, there was this tremendous snowfall. We got almost four feet of snow and uh, it started to crack. I just didn't put a belly band in the middle. So some of the lattice on the inside broke, we had to get that replaced. That was the only time we ever had structural damage. The outside, like the material itself, literally has held up awesome. Now what we do every year is we usually take it apart and if it needs any type of lacquer on the wood, we do that on the inside. And then the outside, we just spray paint with Rust-Oleum paint. That's what the brown color is. It was originally like a real light gray, looked horrible, so I didn't like it. So I painted it this color, and I think the paint's really what's doing it. But, but, unfortunately, we have some holes. Two little holes, They're, I'll show you in a second. They're literally like this big. So I am just going to sew a new top and side cover for the thing. And uh, I'm actually excited about that project. You know, we sew all kind of good, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So damage wise, we have this little rip here. Um, it actually got a little bit bigger since the last time I looked at it. So, uh, is that right? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm right on that one. And there was another little rip. See what happens is the leaves lay on this thing. And if you're not here all the time, um, the tannins and the leaves start to add rot and stuff like that. Okay, where I don't even know where the other hole is, but you're gonna have to trust me, just small dime size. So this stuff has held up awesome, but I'm gonna measure it today and go from there with it. Um, I think if I had to pick one shelter for Eastern woodlands, longer term living, tent style. Like cabins, awesome, right? Awesome, you live in a cabin, it's gonna be great. This is the shelter. This is the setup that you're gonna want. So I think we can rule out real, real quickly like debris shelters, those things rot away. They sort of suck to sleep in other than when you first build them and they're nice and fresh. We've had a wall tent, that thing was an absolute nightmare with snow and rain and it, it was, supposedly the same material as this from another company and it rotted uh, within a year and a half. It was rotted and ripping apart and what constantly the boards inside collapsed and cracked all the time. That was not the setup for this type of environment. Whale and lean to like a frame, all that stuff. Again, not, it just wasn't conducive to being out here. The stuff just got destroyed because of the winters and heavy rains and, and the change. I think why the yurt does so well is the shape of it holds really well. Even though I said that side crack, that was a freak snowstorm here that we usually don't get that much snow. Um, the support is really strong on the roof and there's a lot of ventilation here compared to the other shelters. So uh, I think this is it. What I love most about it, packability, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna keep going on about my yurt because we're, we have a project. So the plan for today is we're gonna just measure the yurt itself. I'm not gonna get involved with cleaning the whole inside out just because we're gonna make a new side and top cover for it. So when I replace that, that's when it's gonna get a good house cleaning, hopefully in the next few weeks. But what I'm gonna do now is just clean around camp, get all the leaves off of the um, side of the yurt and in the front, make it just look nicer out front. So I come here and work and enjoy myself, but I'm gonna need to make something for that. That's what we're gonna go get materials for. All 
right, so we got, we got mail. <laughs> now let's open this. Mail today's bespoke post. Um, it's a monthly membership club. You sign up and you get these really cool boxes of all different like under the radar type brands. Um, really cool stuff inside. There's everything in the boxes from cookware to barware to outdoor gear, all kind of like cool stuff like everybody that would watch this channel would like. And uh, what's cool is you take a quiz and then they align you up with different boxes. So what happens then is every month you get to preview the box that was selected for you and you get to do one of three things. Either, yep, I'm keeping the box, it's gonna be awesome. Two, you get to replace your box with something else. Or three, you don't have to do anything. Say, I don't want that box this month, you don't get charged and you're good to go. So there's really no risk to it. You get to just check out if there's cool gear um, for you. So. These boxes um, came in today, so we're gonna open them up, see what we got. All right, this looks like this has to do with drinking. We know I like to have a couple adult beverages around camp. Cool packaging, enjoy. Dan will enjoy this for sure. So what do we got going on here? Let's see. All right. Oh, we're gonna keep these at, should we keep them at the yard or the cabin? Fancy. Glassware. This is awesome because we're gonna really dress it up this year here. What else do we got here? We got Jumbo ice balls. So if you've never used these with your whiskey Okay, it's not like you're just throwing one ice big just all chunks of ice in you make one big round ball It fits down inside your whiskey glass and you pour your whiskey over it. So that's pretty cool. There's two balls in here So that's pretty sweet cool glassware that we get with it. Field guide to whiskey. It's like a field guide to the outdoors. Look at it. So all kind of cool stuff we get to read and check out. Um, now it makes me want to really dress up the yurt. Like I want it to be very high class in there. Okay, I don't smoke cigars, but if I did, I'd smoke a cigar and drink whiskey in there. This is gonna be great. So we keep this and there's something else yet in here. Oh, traditional old fashioned mix. So with my whiskey, I can make an old fashioned. All right, cool. So we got all that cool stuff. Um, gonna have to figure out the ice, but when it gets cold, we can put water in and put it outside and make ice. So I think this is what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna keep this at the yurt. We're gonna go high class in a video. Maybe I'll wear a top hat, it'll be awesome. All right, now the next box. All right, let's check out the next box. The next box we got here. Oh, I know exactly what this is and I'm super pumped. We're gonna, we'll do a uh, video on this for sure because I'm excited about this. Man. So what they do is they give you a knife. It's a little um, pocket knife, okay? Baron, Baron Sun Cutlery. Um, hold on. If I can get it out of packaging would be great. It's in this little fancy little bag. And you know I'm real fancy. All right, so you get this cool little knife Okay, like it, nice. But you're gonna do scrimshaw on the side. They give you, you can sketch your own patterns, okay? Or, I don't wanna lose everything. You get the transfer paper, probably turn the box like this, transfer paper. They have pre-done designs. So say I wanna do, I love the axes already. I don't know if you could see those. Ugh. So you could pick these designs, so you could see the axe here. So we'll do that in a future video. Um, I transfer that over to this, and they give me all the tools here to do all the scrimshaw work. So that's actually pretty awesome. And the charcoal's in here, the, the I think you use charcoal for that. I've never done this, but I've seen people do this before on videos, and uh, it looked pretty cool. The transfer paper. I'm excited about this. All right, so that's what you get. So that would be this month's box. You get a project to work on. That's my kind of thing. I love it. Pumped about that one. So we'll do that on a future video. If I get it all messed up and the axes, they look like two french fries mixed together. Ah, we still have a cool knife. So um, yeah, so that's a Bespoke Post, the monthly membership that you don't even need to every month take the box that they give you. So if you're interested in subscribing to this, click the link below. You'll get 20% off your first box. Use the code below and uh, you'll be good to go. So use this code, 20% off. Link is down below. 
and you'll be good to go. But fun stuff. I'm excited to do future video, drinking my whiskey and uh, scrimshaw my knife. So now let's get back to my bushcraft project. All right, so if you didn't guess it already, we're gonna be making a rake, because I don't have a rake here, okay? So what I did was I collected a bunch of small, straight, quite straight, they don't have to be perfectly straight, branches. They need to be long though, okay? And you're gonna see why. This is gonna be a little bit different than the quickie bushcraft rake, just like, that has just the random stick sticking out of a Y branch. This is gonna be an actual uh, thing that looks like a rake. You're also gonna need a long, stick okay that is what is going to finish everything off so first thing we're going to do you are going to need to this is not 100 percent all natural so you're going to need cordage for this um, whatever you have i don't even know what i have in my bag at this point we've had so many classes in a row here that i am just my gear it's not everywhere but we use our gear so much that i unless i go back in and i really try to fill it back out um sometimes we run low so uh Got power cord, first thing that was sitting on top, that's just what we're gonna use. It'll work fine um, for this, okay? So, what we're gonna do is get started. Okay, so I laid out my sticks for my rake. You can use as many as you would like, or as little as you like, but a rake with two tines is probably not gonna be um, too good, right? So we're gonna take a cross piece, and we are going to place it like this. now. One thing that I want you to do is not cut these sticks, all right, that are gonna be ends of your rake, short. I want you to keep them long. You can notice I kept most of these about the same length when I cut them off the tree. It's okay if there's a little bit of twist. I even left one here with a little twist in it, so don't get yourself overworked up about it. And then decide where you want your rake. In my case, I want about that long of a rake, okay, um, bottom to be, and this is where we are gonna lash. We're gonna put a lashing here, 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 and here. Any type of lashing that you would like, that you think's gonna hold, put on there, okay? This is up to you. There is no special way to do this. It's more about the assembly process, less about the lashing. So I'm gonna start lashing. That's boring, so we'll just jump ahead right now. Finished up lashing. I used bank line and paracord. Both worked fine. I used different lashings. They all worked good. So that, again, pick what you want. What you're gonna notice though towards the top of this now is these start to come together. But holding this like this is not going to do the job, okay? So we're going to take a stick. We're gonna bring all these together and we're gonna lash this. And with about 4,000 mosquito bites, a few foot of cordage, and a few lashes, we have a rake. So you notice what happened now. We brought all this together. Now I put two lashings in here. I left this a little bit longer. When I first did this, um, this first lash, I gave it a little test run. It still seemed a little bit loose. So I just went up a little bit further and put a second lashing. Multicolor rope, totally optional. But now we're gonna give this thing a go. You can always go in here too, um, at the end of your rake, you can point these things, whatever you would need to do. But for now, I think this thing's gonna work absolutely wonderful. That's ah, working good already, I know it. So there you have it folks, today's project, build a bushcraft rake. Fun, exciting, yes, I know, I know. It's not as good as a rake from Home Depot or Lowe's, but I made it and I love it. I can also throw a rake in the back of the side by side, but I'm a bushcrafter, I like to make stuff like this. So, um, give this one a shot. Next time you're out, fun, it's easy, gets the job done for around camp. We can clean up really nice. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna measure my yurt so I can make a new covering for it. And uh, man, it's gonna be great. So uh, that's today's video. 
So I wanna first thank Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Again, them boxes are fun and exciting to get. Um, click the link below, 20% off your first box. I know you're gonna love it. And it was I was all alone this time. Nobody can steal any of my stuff. Like in the last video, when my family stole everything from my boxes. So it's all mine now. And we'll do a video, like I said, um, with that, um, the artwork on the knife. And then we will also, um, we'll sip on some whiskey and do maybe some question and answer in the yurt once we get it all cleaned up. So. Uh, Make a rake, sign up with your link below, and uh, till next video, stay in the woods.